So let me tell you my story of vitamin D deficiency and how it has affected my health. So I am fortunate enough to live in a, a place where there is plenty of sunshine and there is not a whole lot of pollution. So you would assume that if somebody is living in this place, then they should not have any problem with the, you know, vitamin D. My body should be able to synthesize as much vitamin D as I need, right? If I have exposure to the sunlight, and if I go out and take uh, walks, even like a half an hour walk, just, uh, you know, walking around in my neighborhood, it should be good enough. I should not be deficient in vitamin D. So for the past many years, I was experiencing chronic fatigue. I would feel tired and exhausted all the time. And I was also feeling down. Now, this was regardless of whether, you know, I got a good night's sleep or not, whether I was eating healthy or not. I would go to bed on time. I would exercise. I would eat healthy, but I always had low energy. I would be exhausted by three o'clock in the afternoon and I used to feel down. So I consulted many doctors and I tried to find what was wrong with me. And unfortunately, the first few doctors, my primary healthcare physician, and then I, you know, switched to a new doctor, they were not able to help me. They kept jerking me around and I always got the feeling that they were not taking me seriously because I didn't have any specific symptom. All I was telling them was, hey, I feel tired and exhausted and I don't seem to have energy. What's wrong with me? And these doctors couldn't really help me. But fortunately, a friend of mine suggested me a doctor who was actually able to help me out. So this doctor was able to pinpoint the issue that I had. She ordered a bunch of tests and turned out that I was deficient in vitamin D. Now, the deficiency of vitamin D wasn't really the root cause of my problem. Root cause of my problem turned out to be a few other things, but vitamin D was like uh, a mild Marker, it was a symptom which pointed my doctor to the right direction. So eventually my doctor was able to figure out a couple of things that were wrong with me. One was that I had an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's which affects my thyroid gland. And the second thing that she found out was that I had this viral infection that I had no idea even existed. It was called an Epstein-Barr virus and this causes chronic fatigue and uh, you know all the symptoms that I was feeling. So take a look at this chart. This is my thyroid peroxidase test. So thyroid peroxidase is basically an antibody and the elevated presence of this antibody is a signal that uh, you are suffering from Hashimoto's. This is 2020 and at that time I was feeling the worst. This was right when COVID started. So a lot of things were happening in this world and I was not able to figure out why I was feeling exhausted and tired all the time. So it turned out it was this elevated levels of thyroid peroxidase which were signaling that my body was under assault and I had lot of inflammation and all this was happening because of an autoimmune condition Hashimoto's. So I felt the worst here and for comparison this is where I am now so I am at around 25. Ideally you should be less than 9 international units per milliliter so my levels are still higher than what they should be. So from 2020 to today it, it is definitely going down. I mean I had my ups and downs like it was low here then you know it went up but eventually I have figured out how to contain my Hashimoto's. Now Hashimoto's was not the only problem for me. It turned out that I also had a viral infection. So this particular virus is called Epstein-Barr virus. I had no idea what this virus was. So take a look at my Epstein-Barr virus AB panel. So this is the result of the blood test. Few things I want to point out. One is this EBVCAIgG. So these are the antibodies that will be present in your blood. Uh, it will be in your bloodstream if you have been infected by this virus. So in my case, as you can see, the value is very high. It is 750. Ideally, it should be less than 18. So I have a severe infection here based on the antibody count. Similarly, there is another antibody test. This is EBVNA and this also should be less than 18. I am over 600. Now, based on these tests, the virus is still active in my system and it is potentially responsible for causing chronic fatigue. And that's one of the reasons why I feel tired and exhausted. Now, with the help of my doctor, I figured out that vitamin D is something that helps fight both Hashimoto's as well as the Epstein-Barr virus. And, and you can, you know, overcome the chronic fatigue. The constant feeling of being tired and exhausted and feeling down all the time all these things you can fight if you uh, take the right dosage of vitamin d so let's talk about that so personally for me, there are three main reasons why I'm taking vitamin D supplements in spite of spending plenty of time in the sunlight. The first reason is obviously my skin type. I have dark skin color and if you are someone like me with a darker skin, then your skin has more melanin. Melanin reduces the skin's ability to synthesize vitamin D from sunlight. In fact, a person with dark skin color, they need four times more exposure to sunlight than a lighter skin color person. So a 30 minute exposure would become a two hour exposure 
एक्सपोजर एंड हाउ मेनी पीपल यू नो दे हैव टाइम टू स्पेंड टू आवर्स इन द सन मोस्ट ऑफ अस हैव जॉब्स विच रिक्वायर अस टू स्टे इन डोर्स ग्लू टू आर कंप्यूटर्स सो दैट्स नॉट एन ऑप्शन द सेकंड रीजन वाई आई एम टेकिंग वाइटामिन डी सप्लीमेंट्स हैज गॉट टू डू विद माई एज सो एज यू एज योर स्किन बिकम्स लेस इफिशियंट एट सिंथिसाइजिंग वाइटामिन डी दिस मेक्स वाइटामिन डी सप्लीमेंटेशन एन एस एस टी फाइनली द थर्ड रीजन इज वॉट वी ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट सो द अंडरलाइंग हेल्थ कंडीशन देर आर सर्टन मेडिकल कंडीशन दैट कैन एम्पेयर वंस बॉडीज एबिलिटी टू कन्वर्ट वाइटामिन डी टू इट्स एक्टिव फॉर्म आई पर्सनली सफर फ्रॉम ऑडो इम्यून कंडीशन हाशी मोटोज दैट इज द रीजन वाई माई वाइटामिन डी रिजर्व आर डिप्लीटेड सो आफ्टर कंसल्टिंग various doctors and also doing my own research i found out that taking 10000 international units of vitamin d3 helps a lot now the funny thing is that the recommended dietary allowance for vitamin d is only 400 international units and honestly that will explain why majority of adults in the united states are deficient in vitamin d now i am also taking vitamin k2 magnesium and zinc these nutrients work together in a synergistic manner to enhance the absorption activation and utilization of vitamin d in my body now guys i am not a doctor so whatever i am telling you this is based on the recommendation of my current doctor who has helped me overcome my chronic fatigue and you know i feel much better today than what i felt couple of years back so i'm just sharing the things that i have learned from my doctor So personally I'm taking 100 mcg of vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is important because it works with vitamin D. Vitamin D helps in the absorption of calcium from our gut, but without vitamin K2, that calcium may be deposited in the wrong places. For example, arteries and soft tissues instead of your bones and your teeth. So vitamin K2 activates a protein called osteocalcin and this protein directs calcium to our bones and teeth where it's needed and it moves calcium away from our arteries. trees and soft tissues and you don't want uh, calcium in these places because it can cause all kinds of uh, cardiovascular problems Now I'm also taking 800 mg of magnesium. Magnesium is a cofactor in the enzymes that convert vitamin D into its active form in our livers and kidneys. Without sufficient magnesium, our body will struggle to activate and use vitamin D and this will cause vitamin D deficiency. So if vitamin D levels appear low in your body, it's quite possible that you are deficient in magnesium. Vitamin D increases calcium absorption and magnesium ensures that the calcium is properly utilized preventing issues like hypercalcemia so hypercalcemia is something that you hear a lot of people talk about on youtube and it's basically this uh, scare mongering thing where people say that if you take high dosage of vitamin d3 you will uh, you can get hypercalcemia hypercalcemia just means you have too much calcium in your blood and that can cause all kinds of problem but in reality you will get hypercalcemia only if you are taking high dosage of vitamin d3 but you are not supplementing uh, magnesium vitamin k2 and uh, also zinc so if you take all these things to together then you don't have any issues with the hypercalcemia personally for me at least i have not had any issues i have been getting my blood tested every 6 months i'm taking 10000 international units of vitamin d3 and my calcium levels are normal they have not spiked at all Now regarding zinc I'm taking 50 mg of zinc daily. Zinc works together with vitamin D and plays a crucial role in supporting our immune system. This is because zinc is necessary for the proper functioning of our immune cells that vitamin D helps regulate. Zinc is actually a cofactor for various enzymes that are involved in vitamin D metabolism. So adequate levels of zinc will ensure that these enzymes are functioning properly and this will facilitate the conversion and activation of vitamin d now the main reason why i need such a high dosage of vitamin d is because i have autoimmune disorder and i do want to emphasize this when i say i take 10000 international units of vitamin d3 it's because i have hashimoto and i have epstein barr virus uh, infection if you don't have these conditions then maybe you don't need such a high dosage of vitamin d3 the only way you can figure this out is by getting a blood test and see where your vitamin d levels are if you are 40 45 or 50 nanogram per milliliter the vitamin d serum level in your blood then you are fine and if you can maintain that level without taking any supplements that's great then that means your body is able to synthesize the right amount of vitamin d just by you know exposure to sunlight but a lot of us we have issues we have underlying conditions which prevent us from doing that unfortunately i am one of those persons 
Now, vitamin D is known to regulate the immune system by promoting activity of regulatory T cells. This helps prevent my immune system from attacking my body's own tissues. Now, in autoimmune disorders, the immune system mistakenly attacks healthy cells. That's what's happening with me. My immune system is attacking my thyroid cells. So, adequate levels of vitamin D can help reduce this inappropriate immune response, potentially decreasing disease activity. So, vitamin D plays a crucial role in modulating the immune system. It helps regulate the immune response, reducing the likelihood of the immune system attacking my thyroid gland. Typically, a Hashimoto's is characterized by chronic inflammation of thyroid gland and vitamin D has this anti-inflammatory property that can help reduce inflammation, potentially slowing the progression of thyroid damage and alleviating symptoms. High dosage of vitamin D supplements also help with fighting Epstein-Barr virus and keeping it dormant in my system. System. Now, I could go on and talk more about vitamin D and get into gory details, but I think uh, that would just bore you guys. So if you are interested in learning more about the biochemical reactions that happen in our body and that explains why vitamin D helps fighting these autoimmune conditions, then you can check out my series of video lectures that I have put here. Now, these videos are not publicly available on YouTube, unfortunately, because uh, YouTube has this policy where they uh, strike down the video, especially, you know, videos related with health and medical advice. because you YouTube have their own you know censorship policy so I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube so if you are interested in learning more you can check out uh, this website I will link it in the video description below and what I have done here is I have broken down uh, this course into eight modules and each module has you know multiple videos and I've also added reading assignments and I have quizzes and I have self-improvement challenges now the reading assignments are actually uh, PDFs of uh, published research papers so I have consolidated bunch of research Research that was published in peer-reviewed journals and you will find these papers very useful. I'm going into the detailed biochemistry of how you know these nutrients help you with uh, these underlying conditions chronic fatigue, uh, thyroid. I also talk about uh, cognitive functions which I did not cover in this video. So there is a lot of uh, material here and if you are in really interested in learning about this then I encourage you that you check out this link. I will put it in the video description below. Now I keep getting requests from a lot of folks for one-on-one -on -one consultation consultation these are mostly people who are struggling with chronic fatigue and they are experiencing you know they feel tired and exhausted all the time and they have mental fogginess and because i have shared my own personal experiences i get emails and i get comments from folks who want to talk to me now i wish i could talk to each and every one of you but unfortunately guys my bandwidth is very limited youtube is not my full time job i have a very high stress full time job and on top of that i am running two different youtube channels so unfortunately i can only accommodate very few limited number of people each month so if you are really interested in a one-on-one -on -one consultation and if you really want to talk to me and learn how i have overcome these uh, challenges and how that can potentially help you then i have created a web page you can click on a link that i have put in the video description below what i have done is i have created a questionnaire and i would encourage that you go fill this questionnaire uh, answer all the questions that will give me a very good idea of uh, the issues that you are facing and then that will help me understand whether i can actually help you or not and and if I find a match, then I will get back to you. Now, I cannot uh, guarantee that uh, I will take a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you because like I said, I'm very hard pressed for time, but I will try my best. So if you want to work with me, please go and fill that questionnaire and then I will get back to you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you have any questions or comment, leave them in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.